Yeah, this is why people, when it happens, they need to take advantage right away because we never really know what's going to unfold with these things because the big mystery with these things that cause these events, by the way, are things called coronal mass ejections or CME for short. They're blasts of solar material and strong charged particles and magnetic fields that slam into Earth eventually if they're aimed this way. That's what happened with these CME arrivals yesterday and now today. But with the mystery and the unknown is we can see them in the imagery, like some of the imagery you see behind me here, and analyze them and put out, say, a G4 watch. But we never know what's actually going to happen until it gets one million miles away at our satellites out there that measure the components of the thing. And that's where we can see its actual speed, its actual magnetic field intensity, and really importantly, what's the orientation of that magnetic field? Is it the same as Earth, meaning we're going to repel, it's not going to work so well? Or is it opposite and we're going to connect like two magnets coming together? Last night, the magnetic fields came together and it varied throughout the night. That's why sometimes it really spun up hard. And we all saw it even from our rooftop here in Boulder last night. Um, and then it kind of died off and then it picked up again. That's the way these can sometimes unfold. Tonight, we still don't know what to expect. We saw the shock arrival, meaning the leading edge of this next CME. It was fairly prolific, but it's also passing very quickly. But now we expect to see the magnetic cloud, kind of the heart of the CME tonight. But we still don't know for sure what to expect. That's why we went ahead and put that G4 watch out again, because we know the potential is there.